Check that. That says record. Yeah. Hey, it's a good thing you guys can't see me here, you know. Yeah, Jano. Why? Because you look more more of a prof than usual. No, oh, I've been I've been massaging more people at home now, so I barely call my hair from. Don't worry, so, you know. Your, your, no, wife is, your, future wife your, your future wife is soft. Don't worry, man. Your future wife is soft. Anyways, Dario. I brush my teeth. I clean the house. I clean myself. And that's it. What you say, where to go? <laughs> I said, your future wife will start out everything. But anyways, do you want to do the honors of kicking us off tonight, Mr. Dario? Yeah. Leave, leave like I address the point because... <laughs> anyways. I said nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody else, <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Controversial Topics. We are your host, myself, Mario Dowie. We have Xavier Doctor, Andre Bradshaw, the Black Tibis, and returning, a Tory Pottinger, we also have Aretha Morris. Naomi Dad and Tiana Lewinson. Welcome, ladies. Welcome, gentlemen. And for the first so, time in controversial topics history, we have more ladies on the podcast than men. Chaos. Why? Yo, yo, you are so typical. <laughs> I don't know you that have something like that. <laughs> A good something. Anyway. What did I do? What have I done this time? Really? <laughs> anyway, anyway. So this week, going into part two of why, of why Dario Dar is always single. You know, I was so cool before this, but now I feel embarrassed for some strange reason. I don't know why. Why? Because everybody knows you're single for unknown reasons. I'm just no, but no, I'm just I'm just always single, bro. For the next couple, like, I would make such an awesome boyfriend that no girl can handle me. I'm not even going to respond to that. What? Continue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me sit up with this. Okay, so first the first issue we're going to and again guys if you can relate let me know. Oh by the way, is the fun like can you guys hear me clearly? Oh yeah I hear you. I'm not sure if the ladies can hear you though because all of them are muted. Yeah, ladies, yeah I can, can hear you. Oh. We're hearing you. Okay. They're so much for crap. We're hearing. Not to worry, I'm not going to pick with you, but I won't do it on the All podcast. Right. Awesome tonight. stuff. Awesome stuff. All right. So. You have no bones to pick with me, sir? Yeah, Mercy. Dario, continue, please, because we're not doing this tonight. So, the first reason we're looking at, and I mean, anybody who can relate can chime in. One issue I realized I had was like shit self esteem. Well, I said I said low self esteem in the notes, but I would say it was shitty self esteem. Mm -hmm. And I guess psychologists would refer to this as like a, a type of abandonment issues, where I have this insecurity or this idea that I will always be alone, and that I, it's not, it's not, it's not only because I like being alone because I'm an introvert, but also because uh, I genuinely feel I am not able, worthy or capable of being loved by someone. Nice. As a result, I resigned myself to ultimately grow, um, growing old alone and yeah, just being alone for the rest of my life. Um, I've even thought about being a single father quite a bit like if i sit down and fantasize about my future uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes 
yes, Doc. <laughs> so, um, just, just hypothetically speaking, so yes. the sake of other thing, how, how exactly you go go about doing that? No, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to like be in love or in a relationship to have a kid. No, I mean, just get exactly. So, me, I wonder if you go get the people them that are pregnant and whisk away. Disappeared. Yeah, yeah. Disappeared. Disappeared with my son. No, I'm not going to get to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Naomi, what was that? Hypothetically, here, if this is not a son, are you still of the opinion that you're going to whisk away the young girl? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying there's a 50 50 percent chance that you have a boy. Or a girl offspring. So I'm just wanting to know. You you went out to say you would whisk him away, right? <laughs> him or her. Just for you to... Okay, right. all right. All right. Mario, you, you are making me visualize you kidnapping the people. <laughs> Can you kidnap your own child though? Yes. It would be his child. It's his if you're child not mistreating, you hold on, hold on. If you're not First mistreating them, one. is it still kidnapping? Um, well, look at it this way. No, the, law, the, law the, law the law is funny. The law is funny. The law is funny. You understand? The law is funny. Depends on who call in the missing child. And, you know, depending on how it was reported. Again, again, the law is funny. So, so what just, really, just, what really depends takes on the narrative it? used when reporting the child and so forth. And, the state well, and the yes, and the, laws of the state or country. Are what really happens is that whoever was the sole care provider for the child who would say that they had custody of the child. Well, if that person reports the child missing, then it would be an issue. Um, so what however, if I was the sole caregiver? You are still a parent. Well, no, well, no. parent. Well, no, no. So it's not kidnapping, it's parenting. So, I don't think of course, really have to get into what I'm thinking, Dario. Yeah, what? what I was thinking is that you are whisking away with the child as the pitney born. No, we are... <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> that, that would be weird. Hell no. No, but technically speaking, all right. You no, know, logical say. thing to do is to get a child adopted instead of whisking away the child. Get an yeah, adopted but, child. You know, yeah, right. but let, me, let me explain because you guys kind of going all over the place. Yeah, but Single male adopting a child, I don't see, I don't see it really happening. So let me explain. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Okay, so because of my, I guess, abandonment issues or whatever, whatever the correct or the psychological term is, my fantasies will start out with me being in a decent relationship, happy and whatever, and at some point. I get cheated on or I cheat or something happens and we break up and I take sole custody of the kids. Do you guys you understand? Therapy, oh, my so friend. kidnapping the child. <laughs> my friend, I, I, I honestly feel like my friend, you need that therapy. major very well. My boy, I, I love you. Like I love you, my me. boy. I'm sorry. That, yo, you need therapy, bro. What kind of way of a think? No, then. No. no then. It's an imagination. No, That's no, exactly no. what I just no, said, sir. Why are you repeating that? No, then. No, no. You you come off with that, to that negative spirit. No, then. <laughs> yeah, man, who got church off the No, that's not. No, no, no. You need that. You need to see a therapist, bro. Fit that ass. Love your body. You mean shit. Going to church, I mean shit. You're right. <laughs> at least you at least, at least you acknowledge it. You need a therapist. <laughs> but I said this to you in the, in the WhatsApp group. Oh the my God! Yo, the silence yo, is beckoning. Yo. You already know the worst yo. part about this. As bad as I am, I know for a fact I'd never say something like this. <laughs> Dario, why would you say that, though, no, bro? <laughs> Dario, to be honest, I can I can <laughs> understand. <laughs> Well, I well, can well, understand well. that line of thought because Explain. it's considered contingency planning. Dario is so, a man. The thing is that, 
I'm actually saying it, but a lot of people, probably some of you, probably have actually thought it as well. The no, thing is that I'm, I'm I really have actually just it. gave me an idea, to be honest. It just gave me an idea. Of all the things, now you go take God, but Jesus. <laughs> anyway, blood of Jesus. But yeah, Bradshaw, I've Carry actually you? said to you, yes? Can I respond to that? <laughs> Can you what? Respond to what you were saying. Go ahead. Well, um, I don't think you, you'd need a contingency upon the relationship if you start it off on the right way. If you want to be, you need to set out your goals and your objectives. And if it don't work, it just don't work. But most of the time, if no, you're just no, rushing no, to no, it, no, no. um, I mean, I get, I get what you're saying, and she's right. But you have, you have a coming with hope. And then what? No, no. But if you don't want the same thing, it not go work. If, if just Again, I'm together. not planning to go into a relationship to break up. I'm not planning to go into a relationship. So that after a while I'm going to get bored of the chick. Wait, 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 I, am I, am I, am I the only one who noticed this? Larry, you literally see the shit. I, I don't want to. Gotcha. I just want to say something Gotcha. here. Hey, 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 guys. I'm guys, guys. Hello. That's Hello. It. Control your emotions. Calm down. <laughs> Interesting. That's what you see. Yes, really? I just wanted to say something here. Interesting. Well, no, no, well, no, well, no. Let us give the man a chance to defend his statement because we don't want to bombard him. Sure. 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 I, don't want, I don't want to speak one at a time and then we finish. Not worry, you go first, then Bradshaw. Then we continue from you. What I'm trying to say is that obviously everything needs contingency planning mm -hmm. and even though he may state it in such a way as he did mention, he has no plans afoot to literally go into a relationship just to seek an incubator for a uh, said child, right? He had every intention of having a good relationship. <laughs> However, he knows that nothing lasts forever. This is legitimately a fact that nothing lasts forever. So why not have a contingency plan? And the incubator part killed me, I swear. When I know I'm going to start laughing this early on the podcast, but all right. That's a lie. That's a lie you know. Do you remember the first relationship episode, what we did, what, what we caused not to, worry, to run away from us? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Are you? Dara, you're a terrible liar. <laughs> I can't you know, I, I can't can 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 anyway. Yeah, moving on. So yeah. Rachel, your turn. Okay. Um I don't know what you've been through, Dari. I don't, you know, and and again. You know, man, never grow. I'm gonna know what you got through. I'm gonna know what kind of hell you face. <clears throat> you know, so every man is one. You know, it's just, I get where, I, honestly, maybe, maybe because I'm married for so long, maybe, you know, and I try to look at things from all different directions, right? Better man. How long have uh, you been married for about 20 years now? Huh? <laughs> been married about 20 years now? A little That's under a decade. No, almost. A little <laughs> under a decade. Little, little under, under a decade. decade. Right? Yes. I don't understand why I would have found this so long. Not oh, a, so you know, over a decade yet, sir. You have people with 50 years of marriage having issues. So...
Ich glaube, ich habe gut. Okay, I don't know if that was as random as ever, but okay. It depends on the people. So we are we are we are moving we are segueing to the next topic or we are continuing. No so, man, as in anybody else, do you want to comment before, <coughs> before I continue? All right, let me say this because I was yes. being an, I was being an ass earlier for reasons yes. you know. Oh, really? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not going to sit here and pretend as if I don't understand why you have that thought process. However, I do find it extremely all right. I know dark. I messed up for saying this, but I do find it amusing and extremely dark that you have that fantasy. And I know for a fact you played it over in your head more than once. So I do understand the need for you to have that thought process, but at the same time, for your sake and for the woman's sake and your daughter's or son's sake, I hope it doesn't come to light. Because I can only imagine that weird mm. story you're going to tell them. Why, why, why are, why are you single, Dad? Well, I kidnapped you. Technically, see. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> I mean, I get it okay, because so. <laughs> no, that's not even where I was coming from. Um, no, I know, I know, but you know that this we are we, we are saying this now because we want to. But you have people out there who will hear you say that and will think that you are going to try to kidnap your own kid. Yeah, That's but y'all cut me up before I finish, though. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Yes. All right. Uh, Tiana, Naomi, Aretha, you want you guys want to add in before I finish? Still on mute? Mm, no. I can't get right. for me. Okay. This a flow. This is flowing very good. I, I most flow ever for na for na fat kids. Um. There um, you. Yeah. Uh, me personally is an introvert as well, but I haven't really sat down and thought the way that you have. But <laughs> it has. No, honestly, me know who do that, but you're the first person. Um, honestly, yeah, it comes to my thoughts. Eh, uh, oops, you know. Everything yeah, better, better than some love. introvert with you. Still, I think about suicide. So, yeah. But yeah. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not going to assist you. We're not going there tonight. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I understand what I say. You know, but to take so, yeah. a chair from their parent, the person that brought them here. Right. 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 The child will pray. I'm kind of glad he's not here. It's less pressure. Where is Janu. my mother? I'm going to know. I can't run in front of Christian. Day. So I'm going to know where would I tell them, so honestly. But good luck to you and that situation. All right. Now you're me. I'm glad you brought up that point. Before anybody says anything else. Before anybody says anything else. Before anybody says anything else. I have no intention of kidnapping my child or any other mm. child. Mm hmm. But let's what are let's you make that doing? clear. That's never even been a fantasy. That's, that's weird as hell. I don't know what you're saying here, Dario, because I have met people who have stated unequivocally that in the instance they had a child in any situation, that child had to be with them in any separation unequivocally. There's no two ways about it. So you know what you're going into before you even reach. Exactly. But Dario, my question to you is, is it a case, and you need to answer me straight, because I don't really get what you say. Is it a case where when the the, um, the female does have the child, you're going to take them away, not not at the same, not same time, but you're going to take them away. Is it a case where the child will not see their mother, or you're just taking, away for, taking them away for yourself? Okay. Um. So, yeah. You guys said take away the child. I never said that. Just <laughs> listen. I don't know. I was still going back to that. No, I all right, was, all right. In the to event here, to be fair, I was the cause of that. I should have not I used the word. To be, 
the, 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 the soul the soul keeper of the kids so you're saying that they you know like oh, we have single moms my mm-hmm. point is just being a single dad or my Will they see their mother? Yes, and they I would see their mom. But they just won't have an emotional connection with her. I mean, I would still have some uh, uh, connection uh, uh, of it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but now mm-hmm. I'm going to take a personal cut her off. Hmm. Like some woman. <laughs> no, but like, even um, in a, like, even with, with, like, in a, in a break up with like some of my exes when we break up it's not that some of them were horrible people they <coughs> or I was a horrible person or they were horrible people we are good people but we're just not good for each other and we are horrible people we just probably did a, a bad thing we're not bad we just did a bad thing i did a bad thing to her or she did a bad thing to me it's not that we are what we're demons are trying trying to kill each other or something like that. That's not the case, and that's not what that's not where my train of thought was at. It's just a case where we're no longer compatible or so, something along that line, and we part ways, and we're happy without each other. Okay. It's ne- <laughs> it's not no 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 world war tree or marriage war marriage war tree. Anything so please, like. do, please, please, uh, for the rest of the time we are friends, don't ever use that word marriage war again, please. I beg you. <laughs> I wonder why. Mario? Uh, yeah. One more thing before you move on. You said that yeah. this, is a, oh, this is a contingency plan. So if the relationship works out, you will need to that. stick out with the child, right? God almighty, you stop putting words at the man more though, please. If the relationship works out smoothly, you will need to leave the girl. Can you please what I said? I never said it was a contingency. Right. You know the worst okay, part yeah. about being friends with me, Dario? Literally everything I say gets brought on to you. So, does, so does, if the relationship doesn't have any problem, do you stay with the girl and the child or what? Are you just not want a woman in your life? Alright, no, no. I never said my, my, my plan flesh. I said I have abandonment issues and it is a fear of mine because I also suffer from anxiety. I tend to overthink and sometimes my overthinking gets dark and that is the dark place where it goes to. So it's like two issues kind of meet each other at the middle and that's the kind of shit that that, that, that Used to pop up in my head. Understand. And I said that it was my intent to do this. Exactly. You guys understand? No. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm, like I'm, 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 I'm my fault. I apologize. I apologize, Dario. I'm my fault. I'm sorry. Yo, them say more I kidnap my kids to blow us. No. The worst part and the worst part. I like was recorded. <laughs> you know, I. Honestly, as I said, not that I don't see what you're trying to say here, because personally, um, I'm a single mom, and if it's the case to win, I'm in a relationship with somebody, you know, and we are to have kids. Um, I would have to, for myself, be able to afford both these kids before thinking of having a child with somebody who may very well want to take care of that child more than I do, but if I can't afford it on my own, I'm not going. That's a logical analysis. I can give her that. Okay, so everybody is clear that this is a fear and not a plan of action. Next topic, please. No, but we still need to finish this. Anyway. All right, so. Hold on. Uh, All right, so. No, this is just my theory. What well, because I hold on. Anyway, 
So this uh, a theory of mine is because I grew up without my father, um, that's probably where the abandonment issues came from. And uh, like, I saw him probably like three times a year. I think I think I still see him like one to three times a year at most. Uh, especially growing up, I real I learned that it wasn't some serious issue why he couldn't be uh, be around me. He just chose not to be. And in addition, when I, if you listen to the, the previous podcast, when I was younger and I was on the streets, um, yeah, I realized. I would like when I when I thought about it, I do some introspection. The kind of women I would date, or the kind of girls I would date, it was chicks I realized I could never see a future with. So, like internally, because I never thought I was deserving of love, I would date women who I thought would never love me, because I was not deserving or worthy of it. Um, and in turn, I would I would never actually love them. Well, anyway, I think that's some serious introspection, but um, I feel I more of your issues. <laughs> Alright, so I feel like more of your issues, um, with especially him not coming around, maybe caring centered as in the relationship they had and how it fell apart and whatever the case was that led up to the demise of said relationship so more often than not he was trying to get away from your mom you understand and not necessarily you and so you probably never saw that as a younger person you just saw oh, his actions from your life As I think you did. I learned that my father was just a womanizer. And right. the only reason why he took care of my sister and not me and my brother is because my sister's mom was the clingy type who would have brought him to court for child support. My brother's mom okay. and my mom were the independent type who told him to fuck off and did their did their thing. Okay. So you see that independent type lady was going to fight him to ten nail and so he was just no, like, I'm not my brother's mom or my mom never told him not to come around us. No, no. It I'm saying even though even though you have a certain kind of women, alpha alpha female if you want to call it that, right? And so behave yourself, Doctor. Well, it's, 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 okay, it's a okay enough uh, analogy. Right? So you have an alpha female who is speaking, you know, her truth, doing her thing, like, I don't even need you, sir. You understand? And so that will brush his ego. And, you know, it probably takes him some time to get that repaired, to come back and say, you know, if I want to be in this kid's life. And then he comes, makes the effort, and then he does some slide, and then is like, oh, you know, in his mind, he makes the effort. text my mother asking her for as she running. I'm just saying. At the end of the day, I got to know who my father is, and I know why he wasn't there. Some men never grow up. Some men never grow up. This is nothing to do with my mom. Psychologically, some men never grow up. So, yeah. Sadly. Sadly. Honestly, you know, man who have like 12 baby mamas and what do I do for them? Like, I used to wonder about that. The man them who have a uh, six youth, eight youth, nine youth, and they can't see none of them come around him. Not once. But well, that's, uh, well, 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 that's something for hype and be praised. That them kind of bum life, I'm going to understand up to this very day. Just, just, and I know who man gets close to that crap. Girl didn't drop life until such time. Uh, there should be no shame in a man not wanting children if he's not ready for the responsibility. 
No, you see, the thing is, Bracha, I, I don't think it's the part I'm not wanting to see because ja I won't even say Jamaicans alone, because it's not just Jamaicans. I need, think I need to stop lashing out against my people. It's a world problem, because apparently not having kids is some ultimate sin, yet still have them early, you're condemned, and you're called a demon and a slave and everything under the sun. Have them late. Oh, why did you wait so late? That's why you're so withered, this and that, blah, blah, blah. You can't win, so... You know, no, sir, I, 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 I rebuke, I rebuke that, 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 that thing you just said, because... Why? Um, I remember when I was growing up in my mm -hmm. 20s. Oh, we're not for you yet. The girl keep coming down from far and when I breathe, I'm just like, why would I? She's still going to college. Why? <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. what do I gain from all of that? She, 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 she has to stop school to become a, a single mother because what, I'm, I'm not living here. And like, I was thinking four, five, seven, eight, nine steps ahead of most of the people who run me. You understand? I mean, I was thinking, like I was playing, um, called again, digital chess. I had to. Because if me stop the airplane, I don't know how to start help her in the long run. Well, again, I think like a husband long time, so so it may. Moving forward. All right, boy. You say you rebuke <clears throat> one of my statements, so... Which one? Yeah, that more often, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> because which I know one did you rebuke? Uh, yeah, because I know I said... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I think I remember which one was in my review. Oh, uh -huh. but Paul, um... Repeat it again, please. All right. So I said, if you have kids young, you're condemned. Condemned. All a slave, demon, anything under the sun. No, that was one what I said. Have them late. People say you're withered. You're all whatever. So oh yeah, that, yeah, that that's, the sperm that's still work. The sperm still work. Of course it does. So the second one. Yeah, it was the second one, but about having them later on and oh, why wait so long? And I don't, I don't, I don't believe that nonsense. I believe, I believe, you know, when it comes to, especially when you you have plans, plans, mm -hmm. not 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 just. I don't believe in just blind you know, goal setting. You have to have some plan for all of this planning ahead. What you gonna do after you achieve it? Most people, most people look on it and say, oh, me I just wait until I'm too old and then you need some experience. Especially when it come to the, the, the child rearing. Most people just think, so, oh, me just, me a big man now, me just a breed a girl and I eat that. No, it, it, it's not like that. It really isn't. So, <clears throat> I, learned, I realized something today. What? Mm -hmm. I was in a taxi and the man playing, like, there was a dance on Father's Day. Mm -hmm. And, like, the DJ was talking, any man over 30 when I breathe, nothing yet, what's wrong with you, etc., etc. You can't turn baby father. Backside. I realize I hate the term baby father. Me too. It's derogatory and it's complete. I really don't want to say this. I really don't, but I find it only to be used by people who literally have not achieved anything in life. I'm going to tell you why I said that. Mm. Baby father, baby mother. Do people not realize the venom and disgust that people say that term with? Or am I the only one who is quote so, like When I was at UWE, I heard a chick say oh, she hate the word, but I never really understood it until probably today. Like, like, I don't want to be something baby father. I don't know, I, I don't know about, about an ex-person. The last time I checked in, the term baby mother was used for the woman who, well, in lesser, in an analogy, lashes on to a man that she no longer can keep. She's just a piece, side piece that was left on the chessboard that is coming back for something she cannot attain. So when I see people celebrating being a baby mother, baby father. I am confused. Maybe it's because I'm still on the gilding truck and I don't understand what I mean. By all means, I will continue being on the gilding truck if that is the case. Because 
I can't celebrate a term that's so used with such venom towards me, honestly. Oh, yeah. but at the end of the day, when it, even when I say um the child's father or the child's mother, it's the same thing. It's just that the whole it's how you take it into context in in, in all honesty. Cause yeah, we Jamaicans just say be a mother, be a father, such and such. Some persons say it even when the other persons are in a relationship at the same time. Some persons say it to the context because sometimes they're not in a relationship, but use a different term, same term, it's the same thing. You're the mother or the father of the child. So it's all if you want to take it all, um, if you want to take it personally or you want to take it as it is. Uh, so you you get an explanation of like me, me me honestly I, at first when I hear it to be honest. I don't like the term be a mother, be a father, but if you're not in a relationship with the person where you can say your sister, girlfriend, my wife, or whatever, you're gonna say that's the mother of my child, that's the father of my child, or I'm gonna say, Yeah, oops, I'm be a mother, be a father, Jamaican term. So yeah. I, I don't honestly see anything wrong with it, even though I don't like it when you know naturally persons say it, but you know, I just how you take it in the context <coughs> and who say it. I don't necessarily say there's something wrong with saying it Naomi per se, but the extension that Jamaicans put towards it, or rather, rather, the Americanization towards it, 